Hi, I'm Mac Barnett. I'm John Clausen. Uh, we make books together. Every book that we make is very intensely collaborative, um, which is sort of weird. Uh, at least in the United States, authors and illustrators aren't supposed to talk to each other. Um, but John and I were friends before we made books together, and so... Uh, we do talk. We do talk. <laughs> we talk anyway, and, and now finally we can tell the world our secret. Yeah. We talk. <laughs> About the books. <laughs> For the Shapes books, uh, the triangle, the square, and the circle, they were based on characters that I had drawn uh, for other projects before. Mac and I talked about it for a long time, and so when it came time to make the stories... We already knew who everybody these characters was. were. Yeah. yeah. Um, how they felt about each other, and that's, I think, that's a, that's a big thing that these books are about. Uh, how do three different characters with very different personalities interact with each other? Especially when visually they don't really show much about how they are. We wanted to keep them very simple so that in reading the books you find out about who they are, but you don't know it just for looking at the cover or just by looking at them without any context. Square and Triangle, we have thought from the start, are friends, and this book is about them playing tricks on each other. And we never say that they're friends inside the book, but we, we know that. We, both of us, I think, can remember that kind of friendship um, that we had as kids. And that might not be a, a romanticized adult's view of what childhood is, but it's not our job to write for our idea of children or the children children as we want them to be. It's our job to write about kids as they are. It's all done on white and there's no horizons and there's no, there's very, few, uh, I never do horizons anyway. It's all very, very graphic and you can see the characters from far away uh, in their white spaces and everything else. That was done with gouache and paints and graphite pencil, very simple. And that was part of it too. I wanted to use materials that kids could find and use. And they don't feel like it's too far away from what they could do. This one just started with an image in my head of animals having been eaten, but having a meal inside a wolf. And it is Epicurean. It, that, all they do in this book is eat. Yeah, and I think that is it's more colorful than some of my stuff that I do on my own. It feels very theatrical to me. Everyone's very, they're pronouncing their lines and they're, they're announcing their intentions. And so it's illustrated to look like it's on a stage almost where it doesn't feel too deep behind the trees. It doesn't feel very deep in the wolf. It's all just like curtains behind them. And when you're on stage and you're acting, you, you're, you're, your emotions are bigger. You have to overact so that someone in the back can see you. And that's what children's books are like, too, is there's usually a group of 30 kids and you need to overdo it so that the, the kid in the back can see the book. And I like that about the, the, the story very much, that it prompts those kinds of things. 